the selection toolbar by default is down here at the bottom. The project rate, I leave that alone, 44100 is um, CD quality. First thing I want to talk about is the audio position. This will only show where the playhead is, is during recording and playback. So when I'm recording here, I'm recording, you can see where it's telling you where the playhead is. It's at 4 seconds, now 5 seconds. When I hit stop, it goes clear. doesn't matter if I change that. If I change that to 4 and I hit enter, it doesn't change anything. It does not move the head to where you want it. Now when I play back, it will show where the playhead is. Where it's telling you where the playhead. But that's all it does. It just shows it to you. If you click on here, you can display it differently um, by frames for videos. Here's other frames, sample rates. Um, so if you go to sample, it will show you really here, really very big numbers because there's lots of samples. I typically leave it hours, minutes, seconds, hundreds, or milliseconds. It doesn't really matter. The Snap 2, if we go to the Snap 2 and we go to here, we're going to change this to seconds. When I go from here to here, it will snap from one second to one second. So if I try to go from three and a half seconds, it won't do that. It will go from second to second. I typically leave this at hundreds of a second. So the Snap 2 is so fine, it's not even noticeable, so I leave it off. This shows where the selection start is. So when I click here, I'm going to change this to end. You'll see the beginning, 1.02 and 1.02. The beginning and end are the same, but if I select across here to about two seconds, you'll see that it shows from 1.02 to 2.05. So if I want to go two seconds exactly, I type in a zero there. And if I want to go to one second exactly, I go to one. And so I am from there to there. To check the length, right here it says one second. So this is very helpful. I typically in the length mode because after a song or when I'm doing narration, I want to know how big a pause is. I know I say uh, edit with your ears, but sometimes you want to have kind of a fixed amount. So if I want a fixed amount, I can check and see how long uh, the distance is at break after a sentence or in between transitions between uh, sections.